Hey guys, today we are going to talk about the top 10 most broken cards in Magic the Gathering. First of all, this is my list. This is what I believe is broken. My top one is something that I have not seen on many lists for the most powerful, the strongest, etc. If you have a different list, I would be more than happy to take a look at it at the end if you leave a comment. And let's have a good discussion of what makes cards broken, what um, and how far the game has gone. A lot of these broken cards are very old. But that being said, everyone will have a different list. My list has some unique aspects to it, which I like it because it is personal to me. So let's go ahead and begin with the top 10 most broken cards. Number 10, I have the moxes, so I have all the moxes. Yes, I know some moxes are better than other moxes. Uh, in particular, mox sapphire is considered, you know, it's more expensive at the very least, but it's also considered a better mox. I like the moxes, they are very good. They break one of the fundamental game mechanics of Magic the Gathering, which says that you should not be able to play multiple mana acceleration early on. There's nothing more early than zero. There's also the bonus that these are artifacts and a lot of the cards on this list do support artifacts and have that theme where the more artifacts you have and play, the better they are. But to break the fundamental mechanic of fast mana, that's gonna be a common theme. Tolarian Academy is not only fast mana, it is also plentiful. Again, playing with a Mox, playing with a Lotus, playing with some of the cards on this list. Very, very strong card. With the new legendary rule, it used to be you can play one of them, and that's kind of what happened. You can play one, tap it, play a second one, sacrifice the tapped one, and then tap your second one again, producing quite a bit of acceleration. And if you can figure a way to untap it, which is readily available in Vintage and Legacy, then you produce Infinite. For number eight, we have the Workshop. The Workshop is an extremely powerful card. You tap it to add free colorless mana to your mana pool. You can only spend it on artifacts, but again, you're dark ritualing every turn of a land. Yes, you're restricted to artifacts, but why else you can play cards so fast, so early. Uh, Lodestone Golem is a particular favorite of many vintage players. Such a strong card. Anytime you can get free mana for one land consistently, yeah, that's gonna be a broken card. So for the next card, it's a little different. So the previous cards and then the one after this one is all about mana acceleration, breaking that mechanic of the game. This mechanic is taking extra turns. And taking extra turns with cards today sometimes cost six, sometimes cost five. This one costs two. And the reason that it's so important it costs two, the earlier you can take an extra turn, the more compounding effect it has. So it's kind of like buying a, uh, a bond 10 years ago versus today. Next, we have Geyer's Cradle, and I have this one ranked a lot higher. I have it ranked as a lot higher than most people, mainly because it's so fun to play with an EDH. It's so fun to play with and um, Legacy Elves. Very, very strong as a card. Very, very, um, it's a ability that when you look at it, you know what you're getting. So Tolarian Academy, you have to build around it this card, you don't actually have to build around it because as long as you have more than one creature, which you should since you're a green deck, it gives you a huge advantage and green untaps itself as well. Demonic Tutor. So I have Demonic Tutor ranked very high because the stronger these cards are, the stronger Demonic Tutor becomes. Demonic Tutor means you can get any of these cards on this list. You can go ahead and find a problem solver it gets you out of a lot of trouble situations uh, you can go ahead and find what you need do you need mana acceleration do you need card draw do you need an extra turn 
it's in solve all and its power is reliant on the other cards. That's why I have it here because I think it's very, very strong. So Ring. So Ring is stronger than Demoxis in my opinion because you get two. Like it two is so much more than one. So if you play two Moxes, you're actually down two cards. Yes, the Moxes are very strong, but you're down two cards. You play a Soul Ring, you only down one card. And then the next turn you untap, you get their extra ma mana. Lots and lots of things you can do with it. I think the colored mana is nice, but colorless a lot of times is just what you need because you're playing in an older format. So for number three, I have Black Lotus, which is the most iconic magic card. Again, it breaks the fundamental game mechanic that you shouldn't be able to have an explosive turn one. Having explosive turn one is does not feel good for many players because the game is already over and then their opponent really didn't get to play anything. Black Lotus has always been considered very good and it was it's always been the most expensive magic card. I remember seeing at $20 or hearing that it was $20 and that was considered really bad uh, at the Inquest magazine used to talk about that all the time. Now I have on two recall and you might ask why is recall better than Black Lotus? Well you can draw a Black Lotus or possibly two Black Lotuses off recall. Drawing cards cheaply at instant speed is one of the things that breaks the game. And there's no better example than this card. Now, Jace's Ingenuity costs five. Recall costs one. That's a huge difference. Plus, you can draw into Force of Will, which is not on this list. So the most broken card is banned in every single format. It sees, you know, it cannot be played. And it's because of the ante. You draw eight cards for one black. Eight cards, not free cards so the reason that I have number two recall it's good but you're not drawing seven cards you're not drawing you draw eight cards and then the first card is your ante but you get to keep all seven cards that is insane like the power draw one black for seven cards that's a lot that is a lot but that card is banned uh contract from below is banned in every format and that's why it's the most broken card of all time it just cannot never be played so anyway bye guys